September is Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month. As many people, as many as one in 50 people have an unruptured brain aneurysm, and detection is difficult because a person has symptoms, or worse yet, a catastrophic rupture. One in 50 yeah. was a surprise to me. Dr. Frank George here to explain first off what an aneurysm is, but also what people should be watching out for, uh, how these things are treated. But one in 50 is fairly common, that's right? That is a large number, but keep in mind these are unruptured aneurysms, yeah, right, so that's right, the important right. point here. So, you know, this model of the circulation of the brain shows blood vessels actually spreading throughout the brain, but the vast majority of aneurysms actually occur right down here at the base of the brain, which is why they grow in some of these more common places. They actually cause characteristic symptoms. An aneurysm develops at a spot on an artery that's weakened or thinned, causing it to bulge and fill with blood. A lot of people uh, potentially could be walking around and not even know that they have uh, an aneurysm. Not all aneurysms cause symptoms. Larger, steadily growing ones may cause pain above the eye, numbness, weakness, paralysis on one side of the face, a dilated pupil in the eye, or vision changes. Dr. Mark Bain, a Cleveland Clinic neurosurgeon, says not all aneurysms need treatment. A lot of aneurysms are actually fairly safe. People don't think they're safe, uh, but the rupture rates are very, very low. There are aneurysms that do pose a risk of rupture, and those should be treated. When an aneurysm bursts, it's extremely dangerous, and it causes a sudden and severe headache, often described as a thunderclap headache, generally the worst of someone's life. Emergency medical attention is needed immediately. It's also important to know the risk factors, including family history of an aneurysm, untreated high blood pressure, cigarette smoking, and age. Treatments have come a long way and use catheters and a wire inserted through a leg or wrist artery without an incision. Patients wake up without any pain uh, and they're able to go home the next day. Now, at one time, fixing aneurysms actually required opening the skull and clipping them off. Well, now, that is more often not necessary. Specialists can go through the blood vessels to get to the aneurysm and either clot it off or just block the blood flow going yeah. to it. So two questions here. Numbness, you mentioned. Where is the numbness if there are concerns? And then is there any screening that you can get mm -hmm. to see if you do have the end? So with regard to the numbness, it depends on what part of the motor tract it's affecting. So it depends on basically where the aneurysm is pressing, but the key element is it can cause numbness in different areas, particularly maybe the face or the upper extremities. Now, the screening element is very important because generally we don't actually screen for aneurysms because the screening requires an MRI and that's not practical across sure. the board. Yeah. Generally speaking, the people that we would screen for are people that have a very high family history risk mm. of aneurysms, yeah. but otherwise cerebral aneurysms, I should say, but otherwise we don't, don't generally screen. Screen for them. They are found incidentally sometimes when we do a CAT scan for other reasons, though. Mm -hmm. Really fascinating. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Sure.